Hey there, I want to uh, walk you through the process of going and creating a slideshow that you can use for your project. So if you are going to your Minnow's email and you log into your Minnow's email like you would to check your email, um, you'll see that it's a Microsoft 365 account. And on the bottom left here, there should be some different app options like your Outlook, which is where you get your email. Um, if you click on the PowerPoint one, you can see that we have an opportunity to create a PowerPoint that's new. So at the top here, um, I would just suggest clicking a blank one. Sometimes the templates are nice, but you get just so busy and you have to do so much deleting of content. So if you click on blank presentation, um, I always like a darker background, but I'll leave that up to you. If you click on the designs tab here, I think I'll just click on the dark one for myself. I'm going to label this. I'll just do slideshow. Art. Um, all right. So I have the label with my name on it. Obviously, that'll help me, the teacher, figure out whose this is. And then you could label the course at the bottom, or you could do your first you know, put one of your best projects up front here. So with that in mind, so how do you take your artwork from your phone and upload it here? There is the opportunity where you can email the picture to, <laughs> there's an opportunity where you can email the picture to yourself, or if you have like a camera, you could upload it, you know, from the SD card to your computer and then upload it from your computer to the slideshow. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different options there. But let's say I do want to insert a photo. So if you click insert picture uh, from this device, you can see here I got some images and let's just grab one of my kids. So imagine this was my first project, right? And I always want your photos to be as big as possible because as the art teacher, I obviously care about the visual look of it. Uh, here are some of my kids. And maybe this is what you do. Your first image is just a picture of, I don't know, someone that you care about or yourself. And then if I want to, I'm just pressing Control C, Control V, and I'm duplicating that slideshow. And for the week one, I would do week one sketchbook because that's the assignment. And then you would take and take an image of your sketchbook assignment and you would turn it in there. And then again, you could just make that your template as I'm pressing, clicking on it, control C, control V, and duplicating this um, slide. And then you could do week two sketchbook and you could even do the project on here if you had your sketchbook over here in your project. Um, and I would love it if you have the images as big as possible. Then your final step is going to be to click share. And when you click share, you can see here it takes a second of loading. And basically this slideshow of your art is going to have a link that you will then turn in to the assignment each week um, for the individual assignment. All right, it looks like, yeah, it just uploaded. And I like the idea if you have a specific slide, you can just link to the slide, then it takes a lot quicker. And you can make sure that anyone can, with the link can view is, is uh, copied. And then it's copied in your actual uh, presentation. If you click on settings, you can see that it's anyone with the link um, can view. If you need to change it, it would be right there. So again, that's copied. And then to paste it, it's just control V, to paste it into that text box um, in the class. So that would be how you take your slideshow and each week when you update your slideshow with your portfolio, how you turn it in. Thanks so much. Good luck making art.